Hey, AP students, I hope the review guide is going well for Heimler's history. Uh, we are going to continue right now with our expectations for what we're going to do with the review packet. So your notes should be done on your Google Doc to start off with. Our objective, of course, is to use all the history, thinking skills, and major themes of history to review for our AP exam. So let's start. Your notes for unit one should be finished. And that's what uh, you had yesterday. Um, you had that linked right here. And this is basically where I gave you a spot to put your notes and write them in. This should be done. You will be turning these in with your paper and they are graded. And of course, your original notes for the Heimler video are worth 10 points. The flip grid that I gave you yesterday as well for you to respond to the review game is worth three points. So make sure you have the flip grid done and make sure that you also have your notes for Heimler. Done. And here is where you put your flip grid. Of course, I'm recording this um, uh, a day earlier. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday, not Wednesday. Man, that guy's good looking. All right, so um, uh, let's go back to what we need to get done. So those should be finished. If they're not, get those done. If you're having any issues, if you don't, if you're not able to get access to the review guides, please, please, please um, email me and let me know. I've given you the coupon code for that. That's all in yesterday's video. So if you are not on the um, uh, If you are not on the, if you don't have the review guide yet, go to the class website and make sure you get there. And I'll show you right now on the class website if I go there real quick. You can go and you can go right here, click on the link to get your steps to the review guide, and an email you have the code you can put there to be able to start your review guide and to take notes on your packet right here. So make sure that is done. All right, let's go to our next step, which is we are going to be looking at our graphic organizer for our SAQ. So let's go look at our SAQ question, which is on our unit one review guide. So let's go all the way down here. And here we have our SAQ. It says, use the image below to answer all parts of the question that follows. <clears throat> we have our source there. Um, ooh, attraction, uh, Tribet um, on an early Song Dynasty warship. Uh, trebuchets, my bad, like this were used to launch the earliest type of explosive bombs. Damn, pretty hardcore. So this actually was an SAQ that was a multiple choice question. I was able to convert this into an SAQ from that picture. So our A, B, and C are identify one way in which the image represents a continuity in Chinese imperial history. Identify one way in which the image represents a change in Chinese imperial history. And lastly, explain one tactical advantage in China that would spread that's, that would spread and have a lasting change in Afro-Eurasia that is not depicted in this image. So basically for A, you have to find one way that this image shows a continuity of something in Chinese history that we have seen. And you need to do a change. What is different that is going on in this picture that has happened in Chinese history before this time period? Um, and lastly, what is one thing that's not in this picture that would spread basically from China all over Afro-Eurasia and have a huge effect? So if you need support, here's what you can do. Number one, look at your notes and or rewatch the Heimler video. They go over a lot of things about China in there and their significance, state building, technology, etc. Go look at that. Number two, uh, you can go all the way back and I have our unit one themes, which um, uh, you have too. And I'm gonna attach these on the website, our unit one themes, and you can read through this, anything about China showing influence, you guys filled this out, feel free to use it. You may also use your textbook and go back to um, uh, unit one in the global tapestry about China to find any information. And I've attached something else on there from Friedman, 
Wikipedia. We have these review guides from last year's test, which really cover this well. Now, these are from 600 to 1250, but they cover a lot of the same concepts. I'm going to attach these on there. We've got some Islam, some Mongols, and we got some definitely things with, ooh, trade routes, commercial tech, naval technology that you can use as well. All of these can be used to fill out your answers. Now, what I also have here is we have a shared um, graphic organizer, which I'm also attaching, and this is your homework for tonight. On the group, shared graphic organizer, all of your names are here with your groups, and there's three spaces by every name. So the top one would be A, this is where you'd put ASAQ, B, and C. Put your claim, evidence, and explanation. What is your best answer? So your homework for tonight is to go on to this graphic organizer and type your answers for the SAQ. And yes, you can do a little bit of borrowing if you see someone has a good idea and you want to add some more evidence to it. This way we can group study and get this information down to be able to answer this question that prepares for the AP exam. All right. And if you don't know it that well and you learn it right now by doing this and by reading someone else's and by looking up the information, that's OK. If you're learning it now, it'll help you on the exam. So um, this one, I actually um, I had a number of teachers look at the SAQ and they liked it a lot. So we're going to go with this SAQ. This is something that could be like a question on the actual AP exam or it could be the question since this exam is only 45 minutes long. So there's a real good chance SAQs are on our AP exam. So do this the best you can. And you have one other assignment. Now, before I get there, your SAQ. In here, where you've copied and you've written your notes. So you were supposed to copy this document. And this document right here, Unit 1 Review, you have your name on it. You're going to turn this in. This is your final copy. So whatever you write in these boxes, A, B, and C, this is your space for you to type your final answer, A, B, and C. This sheet of paper right here, I'm going to grade as your final SAQ, this Google Doc. All right. This one, the one we just looked at, is for notes. I'm going to look at that as basically your note taking, your organization. And I'm going to use this one here as grading your final copy. So get one more thing you have to do for tonight. So first homework assignment is to go to your group graphic organizer. You don't need to copy this. Don't copy this. I'm giving you permission to write on here and just write your answers directly. No save. Just write them there and save. No, not now. All right. So let's look at what else we are going to do. The second thing we have to do is I want you to start on your LEQ and make one claim, evidence, explanation, organize one part of your paragraph. So why don't we go take a look at that and see what that looks like. All right, so let's go, and this is on the same review sheet. We have our SAQ and now our LEQ. So our LEQ right here, I'll go ahead and read it. In the period 1200 to 1450, different factors led to the emergence <clears throat> of both states and the spread of belief systems in Afro Eurasia and the Americas basically the whole world. Okay, sorry, Australia. Um, your prompt is develop an argument that evaluates how the growth of states and the spread of belief systems shaped societies. So go ahead, take a look at that, read that prompt. Don't write in here yet. In this box, you're going to actually write your whole LEQ. Different paragraphs and everything are going to go right in here. Here's what you need to do right now for homework. That's going to be due at 11.59 tomorrow. And I am going to be able to see if you're done because it's a shared document. So after you get your SAQ, A, B, and C, claim evidence explanations in there, I want you to go to all the way down, scroll down to where it says LEQ. That's right here. LEQ for Unit 1 Review. Let me bold that. Let me underline that. Let me even bigulate it. All right. Now for your LEQ. What I want you to do is come up with one claim evidence explanation for our question. And our question is develop an argument that evaluates how the growth of states and the spread of belief systems shape societies. 
So basically you're talking about how states and belief systems grew together. How did they grow together at this time? So a state and a belief system. You want a couple of examples there. So a state that grew with a belief system at the exact same time. You may go in your book for this. You may look at the Heimler notes. You may look at these Friedmanpedia review sheets over here. All of this is fine for you to use and look at to make your claim, evidence, and explanation. If you have any questions, if you don't know what to do, please email me. But this is our assignment. This is what is due. Uh, these will be due at, well, today's Wednesday, so I guess our due date will actually be on Thursday at 11.59. So let's take a look here. Um, it says due for Friday, but that means the actual due date. Let's change that right now. And that is due at, since I need to grade these, due at 11.59 on Thursday night. All right, I hope you guys do well on this. We got the review packet down. If you're having any issues with anything, any questions, please email me, contact the school, call the school. We will do everything we can to support you. All right, everybody, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying safe and your families are safe too. One last thing, if you're able to keep up with all this, got a secret for you. If you're able to do this, keep everything up, keep your life together right now and get all your homework done, got a secret. You're ready for college. This is almost exactly what college is like. You don't have teachers following you around, telling you what to do. They give you an assignment, it's due. You turn it in, and half the time you turn it online. Half the time, the teachers, you won't see much more of them you see me in these videos. So if you're able to get this stuff done, your confidence should be going up because you are ready for college. If you're struggling a little bit, that's okay. It's better to struggle now. You still got a few years to prepare yourself for college. Just wanted to let you know that you guys are doing a wonderful job. Keep it up.